Alibaba, a poor wood cutter in Persia, happens to overhear a group of thieves, porty and all, visiting their treasure store in the forest where he is cutting wood. The thieves' treasure is in a cave. The mouth of which is sealed by magic, it opens in the woods, open sesame, and seals itself on the words close sesame. When the thieves are gone, Alibaba enters the cave himself and takes some of the treasures home. Alibaba's rich brother Kasim finds out about his brother's unexpected wealth and Alibaba tells Kasim about the cave. Kasim goes to the cave to take more of the treasure but in his greed and excitement over the treasures, forgets the magic words to get back out of the cave. The thieves find him there and kill him. When his brother does not come back, Alibaba goes to the cave to look for him and finds the body bringing it home. The thieves finding the body gun realized that somebody else must know their secret and set out to track him down. The first several times they are fooled by Morgiana, who is now a member of Ali Baba's household, but eventually they are able to ascertain the location of Ali Baba's house. The lead chief pretends to be an old merchant in need of Ali Baba's hospitality, bringing him mules loaded with forty old jars, one filled with oil and the other thirty-nine with another chaves. The missing members with their scouts previously sent to find the house who were killed for their failure. Once Ali Baba is asleep, shh, the thieves plan to kill him. Again, Morjana discovers and foils the plan, killing the thirty-nine chiefs in their old jars by pouring boiling oil on them. When their little comes to rouse his men, he discovers that they are dead and escape. To exact revenge, after some time the lead chief establishes himself as a merchant, befriends Ali Baba's nephew, who is now in charge of late Qasim's business, and is invited to dinner at Ali Baba's house. He is recognized by Morjana, who performs a dance with a dagger for the dinners, and plunges it into the heart of the chief when he is off his court. Thus, the story ends happily for everyone except for the four chiefs and Kasim. <laughs>